Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a split test uh, using software called Quick Counter Tracker uh, from scriptrocket.com. Um, the software is compatible with most web hosts and most e-commerce systems, including the QuickBank selling system, uh, which is the system I use myself. Um, okay, this is the admin screen. I need to log in to access the admin screen, so I type in my password. Um, and now I have the option for using my tracking tools. At the top here, first of all, uh, I get a list of news, including the option to download any new versions of the scripts and so on. Then my main menu of options here. I have an option to create my database tables, um, which I use once initially to, when I'm installing the scripts. I can create and manage counters, which are counting visitors to web pages, create and manage ad trackers, which are counting um, visitors on links, and I can do conversion testing to see how well a particular sales letter performs or split test multiple sales letters, which is what I want to do here. So, for example, if I have different sales letters with different um, wording or headlines or colors or buttons or layout or different testimonials, um, I can see which one performs the best in terms of generating the sales. Likewise, I could do that for a squeeze page, which one is best in terms of getting uh, the most leads. And then finally, I have the options for um, reviewing my logs of who clicked on which link when and all that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm create a um, split test of multiple sales letters. So the first option here is I'm told uh, I have to, to choose an ID to identify this test. It just needs to be an alphanumeric uh, code. Now for example let's say I'm going to create one for my website um, Dog Recall which is a dog training website. It sells an ebook about teaching your dog to come back and I've now tried um, four different sales letters for example and they're going to be um, different colors and backgrounds. I see that so I set up um, so let's say dog recall color test might be my code word. I'm going to try four different sales letters and uh, what is the effect of background color. And so this is just a reminder to myself what I'm actually testing. Click OK. I'm asked for uh, the URL of each um, uh, sales letter. So I set up on my web server uh, a sales letter, in this case with a blue background, a green background, a red background, and so on. So I, I type in the URL of those pages here dogrecall.com, blue.html. Uh, what I'll do is I'll copy the beans out so I make it easier to type it in. Second one will be red.html. I could enter the description here, but I'll save myself time just to call it one, two, three, four. Uh, green.html and yellow. So I've got my four sales letters set up here, which are the same sales letter with just different color backgrounds. So I'm going to do a split test, see which one is the most effective in terms of generating sales. Click OK. It's now created that. Um, Split test here. Yeah. So here you see here, I've got my um, what is the effect of background color on sales? Split test, four sales letters, and here's a summary. At the moment, nobody's actually visited any of those sales letters, and nobody's visited the thank you page, which is the page shown after sales. If I performed a detailed analysis, um, nothing would happen. So what I need to do is now insert the HTML code for um, tracking into each of those pages. So in my blue page, I enter this code. In my uh, red page, I enter this code, and so forth. So I edit my four sales letters with this page, and also add this page, this code, into my thank you page. And now it will track which sales letter generates which sales. Um, now one other thing I can also do um, is I could manually promote each of those pages, and whoever happens to get there gets traffic, is I could use this link, which will uh, automatically distribute traffic to each of those different sales letters. So for example I could set my Clickbank homepage to this so whenever an affiliate sends me traffic it will distribute the traffic to one of the active sales letters um, it, or I could set my uh, AdWords campaign to send it to this link which will then forward it on automatically to the appropriate sales letter that needs traffic and so on. Um, I can also modify the sales letters uh, URLs and the descriptions if I wanted to uh, and I can delete this test or reset it. Now obviously if I was going to do that and run it it would take a bit of time 
So what I'm going to do is say view manage conversion test to split test. You'll see the ones I've created previously here. So there's my color test at the moment. Uh, it's not been used yet. I have well previously set up this other one called dog recall new, which has got three different variants of the sales letter for the dog recall. Um, so for example, they might have different headlines or different text in it. So if I go in here, um, there's the three different versions. Again, I didn't actually bother writing a proper description. I probably should have done that to remind me what they're about. Um, but I could, of course, um, if I click on that, it will tell me what, what page it is. It's this one, new letter one, and so forth. Um, if we go back to that split test, dog recall new. So this is the sales letter one, two, three in the previous split test, the thank you page. It tells me how many visits each one has had, both the total visits and unique visits. The difference is if the same person visits more than once, it's a, uh, it counts towards the total. But it doesn't uh, only when they first visit, it counts as a unique visit. So you see, for example, uh, what it means here is that 25 people have reached the sales look, thank you page. Uh, uh, but some people, probably about seven people, have loaded the same page more than once. So press refresh or whatever to reload it. Here's the code that I've inserted in my sales letters uh, and the URLs of the sales letters. There was the, the automatic traffic distribution link, and there's the um, URLs and so forth that I can edit if I wanted to. If I do my detailed analysis here, I can then find track back and see. Uh, what the conversion rates of each sale letter is. Because what I want to know is how many of these 25 thank you page visits, how many of these sales resulted from each of these three different sales letters. So I click detailed analysis and it will work that out for me. It does it pretty quick here. What it does, um, you'll see actually the details are displayed below, the summary is at the top. Uh, is It says this particular uh, visit to the thank you page by this IP address, this time comes back from sales letter three. This one comes from sales letter two and so forth. And you'll see then I've got my conversion rate for each um, of my thank you pages, for each of my sales letters. And you can see here that in this particular case, sales letter two is the one. So that's the one that I should concentrate on. So in future, what I might do is I might say, well, um, I might either make that my new standard home page uh, for the website, or if I'm using, if I continue using the uh, split test URL, I can go to manage the split test. What I can do is I can say I'm going to um, turn off the two that don't work, number one and number three, and click OK. OK, so that's basically it. And if you do this again and again, start with, try three or four different sales letters, find the best one in terms of color, then repeat the process in terms of headlines or in terms of text on the page, in terms of testimonials. As you do it again and again, hopefully over time you will improve your um, your conversion ratio, and that means for the percentage of visitors who come to your website who buy will um, increase uh, and that means that you will earn more for each visitor who comes to your website that should hopefully increase your profits assuming your traffic stays constant or in fact because you're earning more for each visitor who comes to your website you can actually probably spend a bit more money on advertising and increase your profits even more uh, okay that's it so if you go to scriptrocket.com you can find out more about the script and some of the other things it can do um, it's called Click Counter Script and the website is scriptrocket.com. Thank you very much.